Hello friends, today I'll talk about how to set up the queued application in DB2 for, and this tutorial is intended for beginners. I would, this particular tutorial has been set up on DB2 version 11.1 .1 and no prior knowledge of MQ is required for this particular, even if you don't know the MQs, it's absolutely fine. If you follow this tutorial, you would be able to get your queued application up and running. Now, I, I have not covered how to set up the DB2 or how to install the MQ. You would find a lot of articles over the YouTube or, or the internet. So that part I have not done. Uh, and this particular tutorial, I'll be really very slow because it might get confusing. And it, But if you follow the tutorial or if you follow the steps you would be able to get your queues running and you will be able to get your queued application up and running and I will be really slow in this particular tutorial right so what we need to do is we need to set up the queues MQs we need to create the source database and the source database has to be in archival mode we need to create a target database we need to configure the queued application at the database level, the source and target. And then we have to enable the capture and apply server. And finally, we are ready for the testing the queued application. So these are the overview of the steps. And we will be covering all of this in this tutorial. So this particular video might be lengthy because we have to do all of this. We have to create the database and everything. Before going to the next step, what I'll do is like because the database creation will take as I as usual and I am on version db2 11.1 4.4. That's the version I'm using. Now let me clear my screen and let me show you if I have any databases. So I don't have. Let me start. If it is not started, let me start my instance. So it's already started and I don't have any database. Since the database creation is going to take a little bit time, I'm going to hit that particular step before so that we are ready with our database even before uh, and then I would explain you. So I'm using the sample DB2 sample utility and I'm creating a database called DBSRC. So let me hit that. And for a target, I'm creating a database called dbtgt. And that is a blank database. So that I'm, so I have started uh, creating database called dbsrc and creating database called dbtgt in this particular instance. Now, while that has been happening, so what we, as I said, no prior knowledge of MQ is required, right? I said that. And you need to set up the queues. How are you going to do that? You don't know the queue. You don't know you don't know anything like literally and how are you going to set up the queues and that's where the beauty lies we have something called db2 replication center we have two methods to set up so if you can let's say let's say you want to set up the queues you ha you have if you have the knowledge of mq go ahead you can create the queues but i am assuming that you don't have the knowledge so this option will not be shown i will not show you this particular option right what i'll do is like i'll use these two options. So in DB2 replication center, which is part of the server installation or the client installation, it is comes as the client or the server installation, we can use this particular utility or we can use this particular ASNCLP command called create MQ script. I will show you this as well as this. So let's start with this. So let me run this particular utility. DB2 replication center, I'm launching that. Once it launches, here it says MQ script generator, right? Let me click. And what you can do is you need unidirectional with smart default. You can, if you want to set up the bidirectional, you can say bidirectional. So based on what options you want. So I'm setting up the unidirectional. And if I click OK, what happens is it generates this particular Adobe file. And these fields are editable. So let me put, so this is my source source system so let's say i say db uh, or i say this is node 1 node 1 or if i say server 1 server 0 1 and if i say this is server 0 2 and if i want to configure the port let's say 6021 and if i say 60022 
and the source database is dbsrc and dbtgt and if i do this once i'm done you see everything got here so this command create mq for the source start mq then these are the queues so you just copy this and all the instructions how to do that is there in this particular table and if you see let me clear it again clear the form this particular is empty this particular pdf is empty how did i how did i get this let me close this and if i say mq script generator and if i say okay it comes up with this particular adobe file and then i can just say let's say host one host two and let's say this entries let's and if i say source database and target database and as soon as i hit enter my this particular information comes we can just copy this and follow the instructions provided in this particular file and you would be able to get your queues up and running now there is another way if you don't want to use this particular method there is another way we have a command called create mq script command so let me show you that so let me go here and let me go to okay before doing that so the command is here asnclp set session queued application i'm saying unidirectional and i am in this command i'm telling what is my source what is my host what is my port so i'm telling all of that particular options here and i can use the same command with the run now option so instead of you know first if if i use this particular option then i have to manually gen it will generate some files and then i let manually run them if i say run now it will generate those file and also it will run them so but we'll go with this option we'll go with this option will not because i want to show you it to you so we'll go with this so this is an create mq script config command if you see create mq script config command this is that command and this command is going to set up the queues for you so let me open my machine and let me launch the queue explorer let's check if i have any queues present just give it a minute and meanwhile okay so i got my database created here and my database created here this is a blank database because i just said create database and while this is the sample database where there is an employee table and as i said we need to have this database in the archival log so let me convert this particular database into archival log so what this script does is it just it actually tries to create a database but if it is already there so it's updating some configuration for log arc config and all the stuff and then it's going to take a dummy backup and it's going to create convert so deactivate activate dummy backup taken and now if i show you this log arc math one is set so this particular script is literally nothing uh, you I, there is no point of me showing you the script all it does it just converts this particular database into archival login so now this is set which means this is archival login enabled right let me clear the screen now this particular database no need of target database no need of archival login only the source has to be in archival login and okay so let's okay so now let me go to the session and see, click on queue managers and can i see any queues absolutely nothing there are no queues so let me close this and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same command which i mentioned here the create mq script command so let me i have kept that particular command in this particular file so let me go here get that particular file and you can see this is the command and now i'll show you what is there in that particular directory absolutely only this particular script and now i'm going to run this particular minus f 
copy paste and you see it's good it's doing all of this but so I, I okay I said run now option but it's not going to create it okay let's see if it gets created creating MQ definitions okay so let's see if it really created the queues so previously when I showed you I told you that we had only one file here and now if I do ls minus l you can see all of these files appearing now let me open my MQ Explorer once again and see if the queues have appeared let's give it a minute yeah so because actually I don't wanted to show you this option I I never knew that my script is set to yeah that my script is set to run now so it what it did is like it actually created the queues and you see I got my queues the this is a queue manager this is the send queue and I have got the receive queue so it actually created all of this for me now I actually I don't want it to do this what I wanted to do is like manually create the queues uh, using this particular so what I'll do is let me delete these queues so how to delete the queues is we need to end the listener we need to end the queue manager and we have to delete the queues right so I, I already have set up the script so where am I right now so I'm here so let me go to this and let me show you one script called delete MQ so and the MQ and the queue manager sorry and listener and queue manager and delete queue manager so let me run this I, I really don't want it to do that so what is going to do and while it is doing that let me close this MQ Explorer and I will show you that my queues are gone and let me launch it again okay so let me delete these files all of these files except this so rm qrep delete enter so I have only have this particular file let me edit this particular file to avoid that run now option remove this run now option save it and then what I'll do is now I will say sorry not this command ASNCLP command but before that I just wanted to show you that my queues are gone because I just deleted them I don't have any queues and if I say queue deleted so I deleted so to delete the queues I'll repeat and the listener and the queue manager delete the queue right and the listener and the queue delete the queues so now let me I have deleted the queues so let me close it again and what I'll do is I will set up the queues again so again I'll use the same command so here absolutely only one file so now what I'll do and let me see whether my run now option is gone so create MQ script command this is the command and I'll run this particular script using ASNCLP minus F this once this is done if I look at here I got this so what is this so this particular if I open this it is similar to what I got here absolutely similar so let me show you so this is a file which allows us to create the it, it it's a shell script which will set up let me clear the screen and it will set up the queues it will start create the queue start the queue and then 
create the objects the listening queue standard queue everything similarly there would be another object called this so let's try to run this and while doing that let me show you before doing that that i don't have any queues because i just deleted them So I don't have any queues, right? Let me close this. And now using this two shell script, the shell script which got generated by ASNCLP command, I can go back here. So what we did is we have got this particular information, this particular command is set up in this particular script. And I just ran that script when I ran that script, it actually generated this particular scripts automatically. If I can show you that these are the this one. And now I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this particular script. Okay, permission denied. So let me change the permission. And it's going to create the queue manager for source. And all commands successful and similarly I need to do for the target queue target and while it is doing let me launch my queue explorer again this tool I'm not using for anything I just want to show you that my queues are set up everything so literally i i'm not going to do any operation i just wanted to show you that my queues got created so now my queues have got created okay yeah so my queues have got created and if you see my so this is the queue manager for the source and this is the queue manager for the target so I got and the queues, the listening queue, admin queue, restart queue, spill model queue, everything is created. So these are the two options. I, again, I'll repeat. This is where, and if you see to create the queue, you you literally do not know what are what is the queue. All that you did till now is you use this particular utility. Here you launch this. You said okay. It launched this particular add of file, and then you entered some information and it created this particular information you just copy paste this particular information in this in the windows or, and it will give you for windows as well as for linux so it will give you for both if you don't want it to use this option what we could have also done is we have this particular command we, you, we put this particular command in this particular format and then what we can what we do is we run this particular command using asnclp once we do that, it will generate these files. The for Windows, it will generate the bat file, and for Linux, it will run, generate the shell script .sh files. Modify the permissions and run those, and we will have our queues set up, right? So this, but again, I, I am not going to use these queues. Neither generated by by this, neither generated by this neither generated by this utility i'm not going to use them so let me go ahead and delete those queues once again so let me clear the screen and let me delete the queues so i'm deleting the queues back again and while that is happening let me close this now what i'm going to do is i am going to create the queues manually so the create mq command creates the queue start mq command start mqm command starts the queue and this particular command takes this particular file where i have got i have set up all the information and i'll show you that particular information so i got this particular file here if you see this particular file let me clear my screen and do this here i am defining the local queue, restart queue admin queue send queue and then channels and the listener 
similarly for the target similarly for the target so i will be creating the queues manually so i'll use this particular create command start the queues and this so let me do all okay let me do this all together take this particular script and pass it so it's creating the queue manager qm src first then it's creating another queue manager called qm tgt and then it it started the next command was start queue manager then again start queue manager and then it creates the queue objects using this particular run mqsc commands and if i can see here then 10 commands read no commands have syntax error all valid commands were processed which means all 10 commands got successful again 10 commands read no command syntax all so i'll just repeat create mq start mq and run the this particular command to which takes an input file which i already showed you now let me go back to my explorer and show you my queues and while okay so okay so i got this queues let's i'll show you so here is my send queue admin queue restart queue and here my receive queue my receive queue so this is the queue manager and these are the queues again i am just showing you this particular this is this particular is not used for anything and my queues are set up if you see the port 60021 and 60022 so let me check if these ports are up and running now and they are listening okay so i got 60021 and 60022 up and running and they are listening so i am fine i am good with this particular so i'm good my my queues are set up next step is what i what we'll do is i already covered this we have created a sample database for the source for the target we have just created a dummy empty database so now let, okay so let me check on the sample side let me take this query on the sample side and show you so this is at the okay so this is at the sample src and i can show you that it has got 42 records and now let me go to the target let me go to the target and run the same query and this particular table which we are trying to replicate is not there at the target it is there on the source with 42 records it is not there on the target at all so the table table itself is not there on the target on the source it is there with 42 records now what we will do is we will launch the db2 replication center okay it's already been launched so let me close this and let me try to okay so add okay i don't i don't have anything so let me actually catalog so this is my windows so list node directory and list db directory so i don't have anything so let me catalog this databases on windows so that's done terminate why the terminate command okay right i don't i don't know why that word did not work right so now let me add next okay so let me check what exactly happened db2 list db directory so i got this particular node 
and I got this particular databases right now what I'll do is I will launch the DB2 replication center once again close this Q replication and Q capture so I got this particular and if you see right I it is it's there is absolutely nothing the Q capture schemas is nothing Q apply schemas let me refresh this and I don't have anything here and I don't have anything here so literally there is no information about capture or apply which I can see from my client which is on the windows what I did is I just catalog this particular two databases and this particular so let me delete this let me remove it let me remove it and now what I'll do I'll try to add this dbsrc this is the username password test the connectivity connectivity is good connect connect successful is good and now let me add it unable to add the following server because there are no control tables so there are no control tables at all so the table the database has been created but there is no replication so there are there is something called replication control tables and that is not present as of now into the into the database now let me try to add the target database and again is the same option so i'm not i'm not able to add those two i have deleted them they were there i was able to show you because they were there from the previous session so i removed it and now that i have removed it the test connection is happening i'm able to connect it but i'm not able to add them right so you can only add to to this particular replication center when the replication control tables have been created and that would be our next step so our queues are up and running i showed you our queues are up and running so these are our queues up arrow is there so queues are up and running and my database is also there and on the source i got 42 records on the target this the table does not even exist forget about the records it does not even exist so now what i have is this particular script this particular script is actually we have to run it again using the asn clp and it's going to set the capture database the target database this capture schema apply schema and i'm saying run the script now and the queue manager this queue manager this is what we created so if i if i uh, show you my queue QMSRC this is the queue that we created and the queue manager for the target this is the queue manager for target so I for the capture schema I'm using the queue manager SRC for the target I'm using the queue manager TJT and then again here I'm using this particular admin queue and restart queue admin queue so the, the name of the restart queue is ASN.restart queue and asn.admin queue for admin queue so i'm creating the control tables for the capture and i'm creating the control tables for apply and then i'm creating a replication queue map which will take the data from admin queue and send it to the receive queue using the send queue and then i'm creating the subscription which is for this particular this is the name of the subscription for this particular okay this i, I have to do it in s okay this particular table and target table will be this name okay this will be my target table name and then i'm validating once this is all done i'm validating that my capture schema is good my apply schema is good and my replication queue map is good and i'm also doing the test messages so this is the script that you would need to carefully take a look i'll repeat so you set up the queue replication you tell what is your capture server you tell what is your target server you set the capture schema you set the apply schema then you set the queue manager you tell for the capture schema what is the queue manager for the apply schema you tell what is the queue manager then you create the control tables you you create the control tables for capture you create the control tables for apply then you create a replication queue map and you pass this information from this particular queues that we created and then you create a subscription queue subscription 
for this particular table this is the name of the subscription for this particular table with the target of this and then you validate your environment so i have already set up this particular commands in this particular script so let me clear again i'll show you that i don't have if i connect to my target and if i run this particular command the table is not there and here i if i show you that i'm not able to add neither the source neither the target into my replication center so now let's run this magical script and this script is going to do everything for us so take this particular script let me show you this script cat this particular script and again i just repeat this is the main script so this particular script is going to do everything for you the capture server database the target server database capture schema apply schema set run script now what is the queue manager for capture schema what is the queue man manager for the apply schema create control tables for capture create control tables for apply create a replication queue map and create a queue subscription and this is this is optional this is just a validate this is optional now let's run this particular script and we have to run this using asn clp if i if i show you that looks like my everything is successful my create control tables error any error any error i can't see any error command successful zero test fail and here if you see this is the validate part was received was received so my test message and summary everything four success four errors i don't know what are these errors but i'm going to ignore this as a minute so now this particular part which was failing let's do that and you can see i have added my capture server now let me add my apply server or app target and you can see let me now show you okay so this is my subscription this is my subscription and this is my queue map and here okay so from employee sub from this particular database this particular table is getting replicated this is the target sorry this is the source from this table is getting replicated to this so literally we have done now come here and till now this particular table was not there so now let me do this okay so magically the table has appeared what this particular script when we ran this particular command it created the table at the target so we don't have to create the table manually the table was created by the script automatically using this particular command so now but you see i can go back to the source let me go back to the source and let me connect to my source database and let me show you the records which are present in that particular so i got 42 records but here i don't seems to have any record so the replication has been set up but it is not turned on which means the capture and apply has not been turned on so that would be my next step so let me go now to uh, this this is done so let me start my replication and here i am saying start queue capture and queue apply and information that i am giving what is my capture server and what is my apply server so let me do this particular part let me open one more session otherwise i'll do it in this so let me clear this and take the copy go there and paste it and let me see if it is running so my capture server is running and my apply server is running now let me go back here and as you can see that i had 
absolutely no records let's see whether the record appeared and you see just before i had no records zero records initially the table was not there then the table appeared and then when we started the capture and apply the records also appeared so right now the queue replication is up and running so we'll do some kind of testing okay this is initial load initial load worked fine how about trying to update this particular record roy alanzo let's try to see whether we are able to update this particular record on the source so we'll go back to the source here and we will update that particular record so before doing that let's do that so what i'll do is let me go to the target and just select that particular record so i have got this particular record for this particular employee called 200340 his first name is roy and the last name is alanzo so let's do one thing let's update this particular record okay so what i'll do is i will change the employee id of this guy okay so let me go to my source and update the employee for this particular employee number 200340 to 4000 sorry whatever i don't know 40000 4 lakh whatever okay so let me take that let me clear the screen and before doing that actually i'll show you how the record looks at the source so let me take this and let me try to find after update whether that record is there and let me try to find this record so let me modify this query so what i'm saying is give me the record before update then update it try to find if there is a record with this employee id and then if not then try to find with this so let me take this entirely and do this so initially the record was 200340 then i updated his employee id to this value try to search that employee it's not there and try to search the, with the updated employee number that record so roy alanzo initially he was having the employee id of 200340 so this is on the source so db src let me go to my target db tgt and this particular employee which was 200340 let me try to figure out if that is there and that record is not there what exactly happened so we updated his employee number to this particular value so let's try to find out if we have got this particular employee here and we see that roy alanzo whose initial employee number was 200340 in the target database has been replicated or changed to 40 whatever this value is so this is the new value which got updated because of our update statement so we updated at the source and that replicated so looks like our update is also working now let's try to delete the record at the source so before deleting let me show you how many records okay so db2 select no let's uh, i don't like this okay so select count star from employee so this is what i'm doing at this target same thing i'll do at the source then after deleting i will select how many records are there and on the target once i'll check if this particular record is there so let me go to the source sorry let me go to the target let me clear this particular thing okay let me not connect reset so i got this particular employee so i got in my employee table i have got 42 records and i have got this particular record with helena wong and what i will do is on the source this is on the target on the source database on this particular database i will delete it i will delete this particular employee and let's see if that delete is getting replicated so what we will do is we'll go back here and before deleting 
let me check let me clear my screen i'm connecting to okay i'm connecting to dbsrc i have got 42 records in my table i have deleted this employee i am selecting from this and, and now from down from 42 i have got 41 and this is at db src let me go here and let me try to select this particular employee and the record which was there previously that record is no longer there in the target so my delete is also working and now let me try to take a look at the count star and you see from 42 i am down to 41 one record has been deleted on my source the delete occurred here so we we proved that our update is working we proved our delete is working we proved the replication is working all the data i'm not going to show you insert it's going to work because my capture and apply is working so i'm not going to show you that but if you see without the knowledge of mqs we were able to set up the queues and i'll just repeat what we did here so it's pretty simple we can use the if i if i close this and if i launch the db2 replication center and then it will if you if you click on this mq script generator and if i say okay it generates this particular pdf if i clear it everything gets cleared and if i put some data here random random source so source and my or may, maybe i can say primary server and my dr server and same port and same database maybe i want to keep the same database at the both and then if, if i press enter is creates me this entry which i can just follow and create the queues this is one option or i can use this create mq script kif command i can i just have to put this particular entries into one particular file and run that particular command or i can just say run now i can use the run now option and then it will create the queues if not i can manually create the queues using first create mq then start mq and then if you know the queue which i have done in this case if you know what is the queue how to set up the queue sorry so if you know how to set up the queue you can take this and then you can run that particular in pass that in file to this particular queue manager so you can create then i created a sample database then i created a target database which was blank optionally at the db2 client i just wanted to show you this was not i just wanted to show you how my replication looks so that's why i used this so i just wanted to show you how it looks so that's why i used this otherwise this is really an optional i have already mentioned that this is optional and then we can use this asnclp script which will set up everything for us once that is done the final step is to start the capture server and apply server and then once that is done do a bit of testing whether our capture and apply is working i hope this tutorial was useful thanks for watching see you in next video and with watch after watching this videos i hope you are able to set up the queues for your learning or for your testing purpose thank you for watching see you in next tutorial bye bye